Congratulations on being a Belichick Cup semifinalist. Uh, that's a you know prestigious award, but you know it's something to be. I'm glad to be recognized as a semifinalist, but I know we got bigger goals ahead, so something you can't really focus on. How much of this whole championship November thing is being able to find a way, whether it be offense, defense, to make those critical plays at certain moments? You've had several games like that over the last couple of years. Yeah. Uh, Coaches preach it, you know, it, it's it's big around here, you know, football in November. You know, that's where really the championships are, are won. And, you know, you got to get through November to get to where you want to be. So we, we, we take big pride of playing games in November. How do you all stay fired up? I mean, you got all these big games that you've had. You got some things in front of you. You got Kansas right here in front of you. How do you stay fired up for a team like Kansas? It's really, even though it's improved a little bit, but it struggled some over the years? Uh, you know, you, you, you can't look at it like that. They're, they have a very good good team and a very good defense. So we got to go out and we got to prepare how we prepare every week and, you know, come out with the mindset of how good can we be as a team and how, how good can we improve. Coach Riley on his uh, TV show last night said that you were close to as close to 100% yesterday than you've been in quite a while. Talk about just getting healthy again. What's this stretch of football been like for you? Uh, it's definitely it been tough, but it's something that you know we have a lot of guys in, the, in, in on this team. So I just I just go out there and and uh, give them my best every week, and and just hopefully you know each week I just try to just keep improving. How did it feel to reach the end zone for the first time in four games? I felt good. Yeah. Are you confident, Marquise, that what your injury is is something that you can really get back to, you know, hundred hundred ten percent? Yeah. Yeah. Does this, I mean, I know you, met, you said it's a team deal, but being a finalist for that war, does that cause you to reflect at all, knowing your kind of journey to get here and everything? Uh, no, nah, I can't reflect right now. You know, it's only, it's too early to reflect on anything. We got we got bigger stuff ahead. Is there any disappointment at all? I saw D.D. Westbrook tweet that he was kind of disappointed that C.D. wasn't on the list with you. What did you kind of think about that? Yeah, I was disappointed. I, I feel he should be on there. Uh, with Kyler Murray's future, you know this this could end up being his last game here at home at OU. What has the experience been like to this point, playing with him? Oh, it's been great, and it's been you know everything you know that I, I pictured from coming here and practicing with him last year. You know I knew what he could do, and I'm I'm glad that he's showing everybody else what he can do. When, 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 when are you going to decide whether you go pro or come back? I don't know. That's that's something you know. I think about after you know the season. Is it a challenge for for players like yourself and Kyler and, and the offensive players to have to try to be perfect sometimes, uh, knowing that you know you might be in a shootout and the defense is going to give up some points or some first downs. Just a lot of pressure on you guys to score almost every time. Uh, not really. We never put no pressure on our defense. You know, we we. We're a very competitive group on the offensive side of the ball and as on defense, and we try to play that perfect game. You know, no matter what the defense do, they shut them out, they allow points. We try to play the perfect game, you know, every game. Can you maybe describe the importance of, of uh, playing a, a team game, playing uh, complementary football where the offense is complementary, scoring when the defense is getting stops and vice versa? Yeah, yeah. Uh, playing complementary football is big, you know, you know special teams, as well, you know, offense, defense, special teams, we call it we fence. So we go out there and we just try to, you know, compete. When the defense makes the stops, we try to, you know, go out and put points on the board. And we just got to continue to improve on playing, you know, complimentary football. Kind of going back to Al's question about your future, um, when you walk on the field Saturday, do you relish and soak that in? Because it may be, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. It may be the last time you walk on this field. I don't take that for granted. You know, I've been through a lot. so. Every time I'm on the field, it could be your last time playing. You never know what could happen. So I take everything, you know, in. You know, when I run out on the field, you know, I I, I live in the moment. You know, I, I, don't, I don't get too far ahead of myself, and I don't focus on the past. Coach Riley, during his conference call today, talked, was asked about you as a receiver, and he said that you learned that you couldn't just rely on your speed and get open and make plays. You had to kind of improve your craft a little bit. Can you talk about just growing from last year to this year, just being more technique-based and such? Yeah, you know, it, it has helped me out a lot. And getting open and route running, it's like I really don't need my speed, you know, until I need it, you know.
So it, it's been big improvements, you know, it's just credit to, you know, the people around me, you know, just continue to help me, you know, grow as a player. Did you literally have to slow yourself down coming out of routes? <laughs> yeah. How's that happen? How do you do that? Uh, I can't give out. I can't give out all that. <laughs> when you first got here, how much did you weigh? What do you weigh now? Uh, I first got here, I think the first day I was like 144. I'm 168, still around that range. I know how hard has that been? Uh, it's haven't been hard so far to you know maintain my weight. I've just been, you know, eating and lifting. <laughs> referring to how hard is it to have to eat all the time to gain that weight? Uh, it was very hard <laughs> at first, you know. At like, within two weeks, though, of being here, I had put on, you know, 10, 10 pounds. So it, it was just I had to learn how to, you know, put my meals together. But now I'm used to it. And, you know, if I have to add weight, I add it. And that's just how I go about it. Reflection will come, of course, after the season. But still, get an opportunity to catch passes from a Heisman Trophy winner last year and a likely Heisman Trophy <coughs> finalist this year. What does that mean to you? Uh, it means, you know, it means a lot. And that's that's. Why you come to a place like Oklahoma, you know, you get to play with, you know, some of the best players around the world. And it just means a lot being able to catch passes from those guys because they'll go down, you know, as some of the, break, the greatest. I noticed uh, you haven't been wearing your grill the past couple games. Is, is there a reason you haven't been wearing it? <laughs> I got a new grill coming. <laughs>